Good morning guys and welcome back. So today we're doing the top 10 Christmas gift ideas for the four wheel drive lover in your family. Now my wife always finds it really hard to buy gifts for me during Christmas time so hopefully for the women in your family this might give them a couple gift ideas as well. And I always find it hard to buy my wife gifts as well. I might just buy like a tea set or something like that. But these top 10 gifts are for the four wheel drive lover in your family. That might be someone that's getting into four wheel driving and also might be someone that's been into four wheel driving for many years. But this tries to cover a wide range of bases, no matter what your school level is or if you're just getting in. Whether you've been in it for a couple of years, whatever it might be, these gifts are kind of for everybody and they're really good gifts to get as well. So hopefully my wife's actually watching this or listening to it from upstairs and she might actually have some gift ideas for me for this Christmas. Now we're still in November, mid-November, so we've still got a couple more weeks. Um, until Christmas we can start prepping but uh, there are a lot of shipping delays I thought I'd do this video a little bit early so if you guys do want to order things you guys will get in time for the full job love in your family so we've got a list on our phone here of the top 10 gift ideas now I also ask you guys on Instagram as well um, of your top 10 ideas just in case we're going to miss a few things and it's just not my opinion as well I um, put it out to you guys to give you guys a wide range of feel for different gift ideas so the Number one Christmas gift idea is a paid holiday away. No, it's not just a overseas holiday to Bora Bora. But this is a four-wheel drive holiday. So this might be to the four-wheel drive destination in your area, whether it might be Moab, might be Rubicon Trail, it might be Fraser Island, Morton Island, for, um, anything like that. A paid, it actually gets people out um, enjoying what we love to do, getting our four-wheel drives out um, on different adventures. So a four-wheel drive adventure is a great gift, uh, Christmas gift idea, whether booking something for them or gifting them a gift voucher uh, for wherever that destination might be. Um, they might have been to those locations before, so check maybe their social media, Facebook, Instagram, stuff like that. See where they've been in the past, see what destinations they like, and either give them a voucher or pay for it themselves. Or it might be a year's past, like a beach permit or a four-wheel driving permit, so like different trails around the place. Just one of those things they don't have to pay for and um, gets them out on the trails. And also, if you guys got any ideas that we haven't listed, leave it in the comments below. A lot of people have different ideas, as I said before, I asked you guys on Instagram, so leave it down in the comments below. It might give someone else, it might give me or my wife another idea that we haven't thought about as well. So, the second one is a fuel voucher. Now, fuel, um, gas, if you live in America, is getting very expensive. Um, we're originally from New Zealand and fuel is probably $2.88 for a premium fuel, $2.88 a litre. Um, in Australia right now it's about a $1.89, which is getting very expensive for half a tank in the Jeep. It's about $62 for half a tank in the Jeep, so about $120 for a full tank of gas. So giving someone a fuel voucher for Christmas is one less thing they have to pay for and it can be a massive expense if you're going on a long road trip, especially if you've got a very thirsty, very uneconomical Jeep. It's a really good idea. I'd love um, a fuel voucher. And if not a fuel voucher, maybe a spare jerry can, something like that. Um, they can carry spare fuel on them. Um, also, it's another thing that they don't have to pay for when going out on the trails. It's one less thing that they have to worry about. And it might be that thing they're running a lot of money that week. Coming to Christmas, um, people have to budget, stuff like that. So it might give them that opportunity to act actually get out on the trails um, and enjoy their time off during Christmas. Uh, number three is Bowden's Own Cleaning Gear. Now I actually love Bowden's Own. I've been receiving their um, different cleaning products for Christmas for like probably the last two to three years and they do a wide, wide range of products from Mega Snow which is actually dedicated for four wheel drives. It breaks down dirt, makes it a lot easier to clean. They're not overly expensive. They are a bit more expensive than other cleaning products on the market, uh, which a lot of people probably wouldn't buy themselves, but if you are getting it for a gift, it makes it a little bit nicer, so it's a, more of a premium car care product, if you will. They make a rage, I mean, it might be the snow can that someone might not have yet, it might be the frother, uh, different applications, drying pads, that sort of thing. So I love to take care of my four-wheel drive, and son and your family likes to take care of their four-wheel drive as well. Battle Zone is definitely a great option for that person. And I actually love it, so if my wife's listening to this, I do need some more Bounds own gear. So I'll leave the things I want down in the description below. Hopefully she finds out and she will buy me some more Bounds own for Christmas. Number four is recovery gear. Now every four-wheel driver 
more than likely at some stage in their adventures they probably will get stuck. Um, maybe not go as far as buying them a winch because that can be very expensive. A warm winch can be, most winches can be a couple hundred dollars, maybe to a thousand dollars. We don't have one on the Jeep so I don't actually know, but maybe don't go for that extreme. You can get them a nice set of either XC tracks. Um, they are very handy and they come in a wide range of different sizes at different prices as well. Um, and just for you guys, for my followers, we do have a 10% discount if you guys want to save some money on all Mean Mother and Extra Tracks recovery gear. So that might be, they do do winches, they do net straps, uh, soft shaggles, recovery boards, air compressors, all that sort of thing. So I'll leave a link for that down in the description. Just use the code LMBL 4 times 4 um, in the coupon section uh, when you're checking out on either the Extra Tracks or Mean Mother website and save you guys 10%. Little bit of savings for you guys for the Christmas holidays. So recovery tracks, tracks, air compressor, snatch strap, soft shackles, all that sort of thing is a great gift idea for any four wheel drive lover. More than likely those people are going to get stuck um, and if they do have that stuff on them they probably end up going further and further off the beaten track and having a better time. And it's always good to get yourself out of a sticky situation so you don't have to call friends and be a bit embarrassed. So number five is I, I kind of filter that into the last one, but an air compressor. Um, it's not really recovery equipment, but if you're going out to the beach or any sort of forward driving, you are going to let your tire pressures down. So having a good air compressor on board, whether it be a uh, single compressor or a dual compressor, is pretty much a must have for any forward driver. So maybe ask their partner or their friends if they do have one, because it can be costly. While it's an extra tracks one, again, we do have a 10% discount uh, for you guys using that code we mentioned earlier for the extra tracks one or the mean mother one. So if you guys are looking for a compressor, maybe choose one of those. So I love my Extra Tracks one. Um, it's all I need for my Jeep. Um, but compressor is an absolute must for any four-wheel drive owner. If you're going off-road, you are going to let your tire pressures down. I was using a friend's one for a couple years, um, and I bit the bullet, and I got an Extra Tracks one, and it's been fantastic. I actually keep it in the car every single day, just in case I get a flat tire, or so I know I might get a flat tire. So maybe ask a friend, a colleague um, of your partners, whoever it might be, if they do have one, that you go through the car or where they do keep your four-wheel driving equipment. Um, and the kind of range in price from about $100 uh, up to $200, depending on what you get, maybe an eight, depending on what you get. I've got Extra Tracks one, that's about $120, um, and I've got a 10% discount for you guys, as I said before, if you guys want to buy that one. Number six, um, any four-wheel drive owner more than likely is going to have to do repairs to their Jeep or friend's Jeep. So having a good set of tools, whether it just be ratchet spanners, um, screwdrivers, whatever it might be, just a good set of tools. It doesn't have to be snap-ons, doesn't have to be king chrome or anything like that. Just a solid tool package that has mostly 10 more sockets because most four-wheel drive owners go through or car enthusiasts go through 10 more sockets like they're going out of fashion. They always lose them. So just a good tool set that's got a wide range of things, maybe some pliers, um, some different ratchets, um, wire cutters. There's a whole lot of different things. As I said, I've left a few options in the description below. You can get them from Super Cheap Auto, a range of different places, and a range of different as well. I've got a different range of stuff. I don't just use one brand. I kind of just mix and match depending on what I need to fix. Uh, maybe just go downstairs or wherever your partner's um, tool chest might be. Just have a scavenge through. Maybe get a gauge, um, a breaker bar is a great option to add to a tool chest. A few different ratchets and stuff like that would be a great add-on. Um, also, um, a seat, um, great way to work on cars. You've got to sit on a creeper as well, one of the ones that you lay on and you can slide underneath uh, your Jeep. Makes it just so much easier to maneuver around and work on your vehicles if you've got a creeper, a seat and just some handy tools on Hand. Even those ones that droop over the, like, the side of the guards to protect your guards um, when you are working on, on your vehicles, not just Jeeps, not just Jeeps break down. Keep that in mind. So, tools number six is tools. I love receiving tools, I haven't received tools for a couple of years now. Uh, number seven, now I kind of just upgraded this on my Jeep. I probably should have waited and got like a really good kit for Christmas, uh, but we live in Australia and we've got probably like the Top 10 deadliest snakes in southeast Queensland uh, from all around Australia. So I've just added a snake bite kit and a first, a new first aid kit to the back of our Jeep. So it's really handy to have, and it's sort of things that people don't think about that are a must-have in your four-wheel drive. If you're out in the bush, you're out four-wheel driving, 
you might just get, you might be fishing when you're four wheel driving, get something uh, like a hook caught in your finger, you might be doing repairs to your Toyota, Nissan, whatever it might be, not just Jeep. But having a good first aid kit um, and a snake bite kit is a must. So there's a whole range of different websites you can buy snake kits from or first aid kits, but it's definitely a must have for any four wheel driver. Especially if they're going on doing like overnight camping trips, it's a must have having a good first aid kit or snake bite kit inside your Jeep. Or four wheel drive, doesn't have to be a Jeep. Number eight is a must have for me. Um, it's really handy for a Jeep. If your partner does or the person in your family doesn't have a spare wheel on the back of your Jeep, this might be sort of useless, um, but a few different companies do make ones for trucks and utes. But really handy for me is to have a spare wheel bag on the back of the Jeep. Um, with going to the beach every single day, uh, we live close to the beach, it's very handy to put togs and towels and wet stuff in that spare wheel bag just so it doesn't sit inside the Jeep. Um, have a look at your partner's one, if it's old and faded like our King's one was, it's a great idea to upgrade their one to maybe an Austria one, a crash pad one, and they're, some of them can be really expensive, they can range from like $60, $120 to $180, so do um, a little bit of shopping, I really like my Austria wing one, that was second hand at $40, King's one was brand new at about $40 as well, King's one's sort of lower cost ones, uh, that's, that's why it was so much cheaper, brand new. But super handy to have if you've got a Jeep with a spare wheel on the back. Going out camping and stuff, it's really great for rubbish. So you're just not dumping your rubbish out into the bush. It's great for firewood, you can carry fuel and stuff like that inside it as well. So really a must have for, I find it useful every single day. Um, and I bought that one, I was going to wait until Christmas, but I really wanted to upgrade from the King's one. I probably should have waited, I could, probably could have got a crash pad one or something like that. But I'll leave these links in the description as I said before. Uh, but so handy to have for all field drivers owners, especially the out camping. It's great to dump all the rubbish and stuff inside that bag rather than just inside your Jeep. Number nine, now this is something I don't have, so if my wife is listening. I really like a UHF radio for the inside of my Jeep. Now for the last or oh, I don't know how long I've been for driving for two, three years. I have been borrowing people's UHF radios, whether it be a handheld one or a fixed one we get in the Jeep. But for some reason, our Jeep came with an aerial. I've just destroyed Christmas. For some reason, our Jeep actually came with an aerial for a Uniden one. So I'm looking for a fixed mounted one for the Jeep. So if my wife's actually watching this video or listening right now, please give me one of those. We could do with a fixed one. Um, a fixed one is really good, handy to have in Jeep, but if you are camping with multiple people and you are getting split up, having a handheld one, like a 2 watt or a 5 watt one, handheld one would be very handy. If you guys get split off in different directions, you can contact each other. But it's kind of a must have for a four wheel driver um, or someone that's doing overland adventuring, having a handy UHF to contact people when you're not in cell reception is really a must have. So, if my wife's listening to this, please, I do need a UHF radio. UHF radio for my Jeep. Um, now I would recommend just destroying Christmas here. So I would recommend maybe getting a 2 watt, probably wouldn't get anything under a 2 watt radio, maybe go up to a 5 watt radio. If you're not unsure of what your partner's got, maybe suggest something that's on sale if they say they've already got it, ask what they've got, it might be a good opportunity to upgrade to something better, like a GNE one. They are probably the top quality ones on the market at the moment. But they are very expensive. Now they do run in costs, you can buy second hand ones as well, maybe check out Facebook Marketplace if you guys are on a tight budget. It kind of just looks like I'm holding a baby but I'm holding like a little Christmas tree. Go and swallow it a little bit. Now number 10, the final one, um, this one's quite expensive. Um, someone did comment this on Instagram when I did ask people. This one's very expensive so do keep that in mind. But wheels and tyres, we are running the factory wheels on the Jeep, but we do have upgraded tyres to the Toyo um, Open Country um, AT, which is a massive upgrade from the factory um, Jeep Goodyear Wranglers. Um, but a good set of wheels does make a difference of the look and feel of your Jeep. Um, I love to upgrade the wheels to something steel, a bit more heavy duty on my Jeep. Again, if my wife's listening to this or watching this video, we need to get some new wheels for the Jeep. Make it look a little bit better. But they can be very expensive if you're looking at um, upgrading the wheels by itself. It could be $145 per wheel. On the Jeep, tyres again, you could be looking at about $300 each. If you're not just 
there's other options out there looking second hand again you can pick up some really good deals for second hand wheels maybe not second hand tires um, if your partner does want to upgrade to maybe from the factory tires to a 32 inch tire or a 35 inch tire maybe get them a voucher uh, for different tire distributors in your area uh, but definitely a great upgrade for all four wheel drive owners the, uh, the better tires you have the further you can go off the road and the more adventures you can go on so definitely a great option but that's pretty much it for today guys that's all the things I've got for you for this Christmas video I do wish you guys a happy Christmas and a happy new year I know this video is coming out next week and we still got probably a month until Christmas but I hope you guys do have a safe and happy Christmas uh, wherever you do wherever you are watching this from in the world it's a happy time of year but it can also be a sad time of year as well but I hope you guys have a fantastic Christmas if you do like this video smash that like button if you haven't already smash that subscribe button as well next week we'll be sharing some tips how to get better fuel economy in your four-wheel drive so if you guys want to stay tuned for that video hit that like and subscribe button thank you guys so, so much for watching I'll see you guys next week